Basketball coach Rick Barnes being honored tonight by the local Boy Scout Council at its Distinguished Citizens Dinner. The annual fundraising event also honors Scouts of the Year. And new at 4, WATE 6 on your side reporter Don Dare tells us about those Scouts. Okay, so this is our first Wind City Tower. And now Miss Katie and I are going to apply wind to this tower. Remember we talked about the force of wind? At Clayton Bradley Academy in Maryville, it's after school. And each Wednesday, these fifth graders gather for their STEM lab. MJ Brooks has been a STEM scout for three years. In this session, lab leader Stephanie Farrell is teaching a bit of engineering and wind dynamics. Instead of just being in the regular school day, we um, get to learn more together after school. Yes, MJ. Um, maybe if you made it a little bit more top, um, top, like less top heavy. Yes. Through her STEM experience, MJ has helped lead other kids in a creek cleanup project near her school. We pick up trash and we take trash bags for 15 minutes of every lab and we pick up as much trash as we can. There's also an event called Pistol Creek Day. We have different stations where we learn about the creek and we look at water samples and then we pick up trash around the creek and we go canoeing and look at the wildlife. It's just a little bit shy of the limits. These thought-provoking labs widen everyone's curiosity about STEM. Everybody stand back. What's really neat for you is that this is what you want to do in the future. Yeah. And you're learning it in the fifth grade. Mm -hmm. Great Smoky Mountain Council's STEM Scout of the Year, MJ Brooks. Don't know about you, but MJ knows a lot more about science than I did at her age. Now, the Great Smoky Mountain Boy Scout Council is honoring two Scouts of the Year tonight. They're entrepreneurs who have been lifelong friends. Well, we met actually on the playground in first grade. The two guys in the middle, John D. Cobb and Alexander Yarkon, were elementary school classmates. Over the years, they've been together everywhere in their scouting experience. Since middle school, John D. and Alexander have attended separate schools but remained in the same scout troop. And we still saw each other every Monday at our uh, meetings. We're in the same troop and the same patrol, and we've sort of tag-teamed on a lot of the things that we've done in scouts. What they learned in scouts was leadership and service to others. A few years ago, they teamed up with the Knoxville Chamber's Young Entrepreneurs Academy. Working as a team, they put their minds and energy together and created a website, Refugee Like Me. It's when we got war in Congo. Their nonprofit Refugee Like Me project, created through the Young Entrepreneurs Academy, was an eye opener. We learned how to build a business from the ground up. We learned how we need to fund our business. We really want to take the discourse around refugees uh, out of the level of sort of partisan polarization that's been forced into and give people a chance to meet refugees as fellow human beings. With their project, they earned a trip to Rochester, New York, and returned to Knoxville with an impressive honor. We were national semifinalists for the Young Entrepreneurs Academy. I'd say the biggest thing about scouting is that it gives you a chance to take a leadership opportunity. I mean, can you name another organization on this planet that will give a 12-year-old complete control over whether or not you have enough to eat this weekend? Teammates and Boy Scouts of the Year, Alexander Yarkon and John D. Cobb. Don Dare, WATE, six on your side. The Distinguished Citizens Dinner honoring the Scouts and Coach Rick Barnes is tonight at the Knoxville Convention Center at 7 o'clock. Lori.